Good evening, Benny Big Gun here. Today I'm going to be explaining the French gun law and self-defense law as best as I can. So we're going to start with the gun law. Uh, it's very simple. The, f the French gun law is a numeric sequence starting from 1, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So we're going to start with number 1, category 1. Category 1 is all big caliber handguns and AR-15 rifles, machine guns, you get the picture. Uh, for example, 45 ACP, the big caliber, 300 blackout, AR-15, all these things are category 1 and need a specialized permit. A special permit which a private person is very difficult to get. So category 2 is an empty category, they don't have anything under that. Category 3, they don't have anything under that. Now category 4, it's all 22 long rifle pistols, uh, 22 long rifle AR-15s, uh, etc, etc, everything. Category 4 is also 9mm, actually 9mm, Luger, Luger 9mm is still category 1. Um, 38 special, uh, uh, all these things, uh, uh, 380 is still category 4, uh, all these things, they're all category 4, handguns with 22 like I just said, is all category 4, still needing the same specialised permit plus a shooting licence and a medical certificate to purchase any of these firearms, you'll need that. And moving on to category 5, category 5 is hunting, shot, hunting rifles, shotguns, anything of hunting you can think of is that and uh, anything with hunting. With that, you're able to purchase one of these weapons with a simple hunting license or a licence de tir as they call it, a licence de tir sportif, which is a shooting license for sport, which means uh, clay pigeon shooting, uh, all these things you can think of. That is, cat that is category five. And I'll explain also to you how to make a shooting license. I am not, I do not exactly know how to make a hunting license, but a shooting license I know I have myself. Now we're moving on to category 6. Category 6 is all, anything, all knives, bayonets, uh, bayonets, what else is that, uh, tear gas, uh, anything you can think of uh, in category 6 or knives, uh, tear gas, um, all of this kind of stuff, that's category 6 as well, but that you can buy without a permit. You don't need a permit to buy a knife. And we're moving on to category 7, which is the sport section, which includes category 7 is air rifles, air pistols, blank shooting weapons, and 22 long rifle rifles. 22 long rifles. Not counting the Ruger 1022 now. Ruger 1022 rifle that everybody so knows is in category 4, but it's a semi automatic. But you can buy semi automatic shotguns, which is in category 5. I hope I'm not trying to mix you up too much there, it's just the way it is. Now, category 7, so it's blank shooting guns and air guns. Okay? Any air gun, any air gun, which is if 10 jaws, that is. That's the maximum you can get of an air gun without buying a permit. Without buying it with a permit, sorry. Now, let's say, let's say, you, go, let's say you, have a, you buy a 22 jaw rifle, you will need a license for it. Obligational in this country. Moving on to category 8. Category 8 is all historical weapons you can think of. Muzzle loading rifles, uh, uh, the six shooting black powder revolvers, also known as cap and ball revolvers. All this is category 8 and it can be bought without any kind of permit whatsoever. Can, you're allowed to shoot without a permit. It's en vente libre, as the French call it, which means uh, you can buy it freely without a permit. So after that, that's category 8. That's finished now. Now, how to make a shooting license. Now, you're in this country, to make a shooting license, you'll have to go to a local gun club. And you have to be 18 years old, or you can be younger. You can be up to 9 years old to make a license, to make a license for air rifles. Okay? But for actual firearms, such as a 22 or anything like that, you must be 18 years old. That's the normal licence de tir now I'm talking about. 
and um, so that's the Lisons de Tia. We have to inscribe with them, uh, so I'm speaking French now, you have to register. And then you have to, once you register, you have to pay the fee, the annual fee per season, which is 12 months. Uh, for an adult, it's about 100, between 100 and 120 euros, or could even go up to 150 euros. And for a, a minor, it's usually 80 euros. So it's not too expensive. Uh, and after that, you have to to make a hunting license. Now remember, with a hunting license, you're only allowed to hunt. You're not allowed to shoot at home. You're only allowed to hunt. Which means with a shooting license, you're not allowed to hunt, but you're allowed to shoot at home. Okay? So... You're allowed to uh, shoot at home with a licence de tir sportif. A shooting license for sport. Okay? And once you've got the license, um, you're allowed to go to... Once to buy a weapon in this country, you have to have the license itself. Uh, a identity card which is a passport or something and a valid shooting license which means you have the shooting license itself and you have a piece of paper with it which is valid it has a stamp on it for that year every year you have to go to your club and you have to have it restamped and it's very important you have to you have to be in a club once a month, at least to shoot, because otherwise they will not renew your license because you're never there. So, that's what to keep in mind if you're doing a license in France. Uh, and after a year and a half of being in a club, you have to be 21 to make a um, license for class 1 and class 4 weapons. You have to be 21 years old to make these big calibre weapons, 45 ACP, etc, etc. To make and you have to be registered for a year and a half and after that you have to pass a series of tests and then you might get that license but you need also you're obligated to have a safe in your house for these things and you're constantly monitored by the gendarmerie as they're called which is the army police in france and uh yeah and you're under very hard uh, restrictions when you've got these uh, large caliber weapons now as I was saying, to buy a weapon in this country, all you need is your validity paper and your passport and your shooting license itself to buy a class 5 or class 7 weapon. Which is any kind of hunting rifle, semi-automatic shotguns, uh, semi-automatic rifles, bolt-action rifles, anything you can think of in that line is class 5. And then class 7 is the any kind of air rifle and a 22 long rifle. Okay? And... You, to make a hunting license, you have to go to the préfecture in France. I do not know the English word for the préfecture. The closest translation is like the county council, but not for housing. County council is for housing. It's like the préfecture deals, deals with all of that. It deals with car licenses, deals with uh, hunting licenses, deals with everything you can think of. Even uh, when you buy a car, you've got to go there and change your paperwork around to your name. You go there. And now, each department in France, I'm going to explain this now to you. This is a map of France. At least, so I printed out the papers a bit small, but you get the picture. Each France is, has all individual departments, which is in numbers. You know, the United States, you have different states. We have, we have it in, it's upside down, sorry. <laughs> We have it in um, departments, which is numbered. In the United States, you've got your states, and every state has a different law in America, as far as I know. Now, here in France, everybody has the same base law, but it changes a bit. Paperwork changes, everything changes. For example, I'm in, uh, let's say, Area 59 here. This is Department 59, and if I, let's say, I wanted to move to Department 62, I'd have to change all my paperwork on my cars and everything. So... Now, every, as a perfect year, in every one of these states, there is not a state, it's a department. If you could see that properly, there's all these numbers here, with all different departments. 
Okay. <clears throat> so, so let's say everybody knows, knows what Paris has. Here's Paris. Paris has three departments in itself. Department 91, Department 78, and Department 95. Paris right here. Paris itself is in the north of France just like I am. Now, that's what you have to do to get a hunting license. Now, I'm going to move on to... Oh yeah, by the way, in category 6, I was uh, talking about a tear gas is also a part of it. And also canes, all this is part of category 6, okay? Now I'm going to move on to the self-defense law. The self-defense law... There is no self-defense law in France. You are not allowed to defend yourself, basically. And it's the truth, I'm telling you now. I've, I've re read about it today. There is basically no such thing as self-defense, okay? Self-defense in this country... Somebody breaks into your house, for example, you are not allowed to touch that person whatsoever. You have a right to call the police. Until the police arrive, he can do whatever he wants, basically. Self-defense is only permitted in extreme measures, where it's, you're forced to use violence. Extreme measures now. And it has to be proven that by the judge and the jury, it will go to court if this thing happens. That you had to defend yourself. Because if not, it can be very bad. If you can't, if you cannot be proven that you had to defend yourself in such extreme manners, okay. And you may not use a firearm to defend yourself in any shape, form, or manner, okay. Now, let's uh, let me see. Now we got the firearms. Law done. We have now. We're going to still talk about the tough defense law. For example, tear gas. Uh, tear gas. They sell tear gas in the armories, in the local gun store, in the local shops. They sell tear gas. You're not allowed to use it. It's like here in France, you're not allowed to tow your car. They sell the towing rope. You're not allowed to tow your car. Okay. Uh, no. Self defense law covered. I'm actually forgetting what I was wanting to talk about now. Now, while I'm rambling here, I'm talking a lot. This video's getting very long. Uh, I really forgot what I wanted to talk about. So, there's a self defense law. What did I want to talk about now? And I think I've just about covered everything I had on my list for tonight to talk about. Uh, Self-defense. Yes, I wanted to cover the, the concealed carry permits. America has concealed carry permits, right? You're allowed to make a concealed carry permit. You're allowed to carry it concealed on your jacket or in your pocket where nobody can see it. You're allowed to carry it concealed, right? There is no such thing in France. There is no such thing. You're actually not even really allowed to carry a knife. In the street. It's true. You're not even allowed to carry a knife in the street. Or tear gas or anything like this. It's true. Now. Uh, concealed carry permits. In this country, you are forbidden to take any kind of weapon out into the public. Okay? Which means there is no such thing as a concealed carry permit. Under extreme circumstances where your life is in extreme danger, the prefecture might authorize the the use of a category 7 or a category 8 weapon to be carried okay this is extreme circumstances now usually it's not allowed all right so that's just pretty much all i wanted to talk about tonight and if you uh, have any questions i'll be free feel free to ask me and i'll answer them feel free to comment under the uh comment section below. I, am, I actually like to know what uh, your opinion is about this subject. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And what was I forgetting? If you haven't subscribed, please do. And it's getting off for 9 o'clock. Have a nice evening and have a nice day.